Hi everybody, just a quick update from our March school management team meeting. Uh, there's four or five quick updates effectively this time round. Uh, first of all, we had a presentation about the transition to new core uh, on the 3rd of June uh, later this year. An email's gone round with details of key deadlines for finance and, and HR during the cutover period. Uh, but the new core team came to present the implications of the new system for line managers. And effectively, the principle is one of self-service where we will upload our own expenses and um, notify or request absences, whether that's through annual leave or sickness. And it will go to a line manager to uh, approve. Effectively, that's the same as things are now. It's just it will go automatically to a line manager rather than uh, via us having to do it verbally or uh, through a form. Secondly, we're coming up to PDRs and to workload meetings uh, in the spring and beyond. We were hoping to be able to use new software which the university is introducing uh, called Simitiv, which would pre-populate um, with data from research finance and from timetabling. Unfortunately, that software isn't quite ready yet, so we'll use the Excel spreadsheets that we've been using in previous years again, but we'll be doing some work to test Simitiv so that we can use it for uh, the next year uh, for workload planning. Third, just a quick update on our Athena Swan application. We received some positive and some helpful feedback from College Board, and that draft has now gone forward to a central university committee to uh, review and to provide us with some further feedback. Uh, we can make some further amendments before final submission, but effectively it's that committee that will decide whether they think our application is ready for submission, uh, and then we'll action it accordingly. And then finally, some updates around research and postgraduate research. Uh, in the week of the 24th of June, we have a two-day PhD student conference, which the PhD students have organised. And then we have three days of annual programme reviews. So it'd be fantastic if as many of us as possible from different parts of the school could support both the conference and the APR programme and hold as much time as possible in that week to take part in uh, different elements of those activities. Uh, we were trying to work really hard to make sure that our PhD students feel like they're a full part of the research culture of the school and that week of the 24th of June is really crucial. And linked to that, I just wanted to commend uh, the school's research newsletter to people. That goes out each month to all staff and to all students. And if you don't normally look at it in detail, I'd really recommend it. Um, it's an excellent uh, resource. Many thanks to Rhiannon for all the work that she does on it and to Mark and Catherine. Uh, but actually, it's really difficult sometimes to get an overview of everything that's going on when we're in the detail of our own work. Uh, and our own uh, role and the newsletter is just one way of trying to get a, an overview of some of the broader developments across the school as a whole. Hope all's well and speak soon. Bye.